Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back again with a conspiracy theory reading. So I haven't done a conspiracy theory in a very long time. Um, and uh, one that was suggested to me was the reptilian theory. So um, another one that was suggested is time travel. So if you do want a time travel reading, like if it's possible to do to time travel, uh, put in the comments down below and I'll do it. Um, but I figure I haven't done a conspiracy theory in a while and people were asking me about the reptilian theory. So people believe that there are people among us who are half human, half reptile, and that they can shapeshift. And people have accused Lady Gaga of being cons being a reptile and a ton of other people. So um, I'm trying to go into this with an open mind. Um, you know, I mean, I do believe in aliens, so maybe there is something to it. I don't know. Um, I know American Horror Story did a half season about it. I watched that that season. Um, so it's a very popular theory, and uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just see what I see. So remember, these readings are all ledger different chambers only, and let's get started. So yeah, I have this background because when you Google it and the Wikipedia comes up, this picture comes up, and it just sent me. It just it looks a little ridiculous to me, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, okay, the star, the chariot. In the sun. Um, okay. Ten of cups reversed. High priestess. Seven of pentacles. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So... Wow, okay. So the star to me is about attention. The sun is about happiness and the chariot is about progress. So you can see that as like trying to get someone's attention. But when we're looking at a conspiracy theory reading, okay, we're looking at the cards slightly different. The star translates to a star or galaxy. The sun will translate to earth um and like our planet and then the chariot would be like a ufo right or like traveling from one place to another so i'm not gonna lie to you i do see something that ha that has the ability to travel between i don't know if it's a dimension i don't know if it's um a planet or whatever to me this does read as alien um this is what i would read as like an alien coming here so i do i am picking up on something alien like but again uh, this doesn't super shock me i've done alien readings before and i do believe in them so this doesn't really shock me too much i mean i do think it'd be pretty arrogant to think we're the only life source that could possibly exist in our universe um but anyways the ten of cups is reversed though the high priest is upright and the seven of pentacles i don't particularly think that these are shape-shifting People, it doesn't seem like, because the Ten of Cups is reversed. So the Ten of Cups would be like a happily ever after. And the Ten of Cups reverse would be like like an unhappy ever after, right? But the Ten of Cups is like family dynamics. So that's like human. You would see this as like human, the base of human, and it's reverse. I don't see them among us, if that makes sense. Um, the High Priestess is there, right? So the High Priestess is about trust, healing, and the High Priestess is also like divine energy. You also look at the High Priestess as sometimes like, you know, intuitive energy. And the Seven of Pentacles to me is about comfort. So if anything, this reads to me as something that either pre- that either existed before us or came to us at some point and gave us something seven of pentacles to me is like comfort so it's also laziness so sometimes that's about spoon feeding someone something so i do think that there was something alien like that resembled reptile reptiles but i don't think that they're shape-shifting and i don't think they're people and i don't i don't agree with that what i'm seeing is some form of knowledge that was given or maybe a tool like maybe they gave us some sort of tool or something. You know that conspiracy theory a long periodically a time ago that like the cavemen didn't didn't create fire, it was aliens. This is kind of what reminds me of that. Like it reminds me of that, where it's like they there's some sort of information that was given or something. 
Um, I don't, I'm sorry to anyone that like is offended or whatever, but I don't particularly believe that it's like shape-shifting celebrities. To me, that's a little bit, no, not with the Ten of Cups reverse and the High Priestess. Because the High Priestess, again, the High Priestess is like trust and healing. And if it was reversed, it would be distrust, right? And again, we have the moon here. The moon would be upright. That would be lies and deceit, deception. There's no deception. So if I'm not seeing any deception, to me, I don't really think that this is... I think that there might be some level of this that is attached. Like, it's like, okay, it's basically like if I saw... Um, it, I think it's basically like, how do I word this? It's like, like the game of telephone where like somebody heard something and then they spun it into their own agenda. That's kind of what it reads as to me. It's like if I took something and spun it into my own agenda. Because um, the Queen of Wa Queen of Cups is there. And the Queen of Cups is about emotions. And the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, which is inconsistencies. And then the Moon is reversed, a revealing of secrets. So to me, that's about placing something that doesn't fit to explain something that it doesn't explain. Moon reverse is like, I need to uncover the secret. I need to uncover the truth. Because the Queen of Cups, my emotions are invested in this and I'm scared. Knight of Pentacles, what I'm being told is not accurate. But I think what's going on is a lot of the things that are happening in the government or happening in society or with the president or whatever, I think it's human error. And I think sometimes with the moon reversed, we're looking for an explanation in human error. Um, and so I think this reptilian energy or whatever has been sort of tacked on to that when it's its own separate thing. The moon being reversed is also about exposing something. So if anything, I would expect whatever this reptilian alien energy that I'm picking up on, whatever that is, I would expect that to kind of like, it's transparent. So it's very straightforward. So it would be like if I expose something, like this might be controversial, but it would be like if reptilians were someone that like visited Earth and were showing us a truth or showing us something about how the universe works or whatever. It's like giving us a technology or something. That's what it reads as to me. It's like I'm showing you a truth. And somehow that got misconstrued into this celebrity conspiracy theory about being half human. I don't see them as human at all. I see them as an alien species that gave us something. So that's what I'm reading it as. I don't believe the modern day conspiracy theory that we see now <clears throat> at all. Um, so the Six of Swords is the internet, the Nine of Pentacles, other people. Six of Swords also travel. And then Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. I think they gave us some form of technology. Or at least they tried to. It's possible that this ties back into like Area 51. Have I done a reading on it? I think I have. I'll put a link up to it if I remember. Um, but the chariot makes me think of UFO. So I'm wondering if like perhaps we reverse engineered a UFO that we found. And that's tied to like the reptilians or whatever. It might all be the same thing. Especially because the three of pentacles is reversed, which means that we got... You know what's so interesting is that actually translates to kind of similar to the American Horror Story season because the Three of Pentacles is like, I didn't put any work into this, but I have the result. That's like, you know, when your teacher um, says like, you know, when you're like, you like do a math equation, your teacher's like, you need to show your work so that I know that you actually did it and just didn't just get the answer or Google the answer. This is like having the answer, but not having any of the work for it. So it's like, how did you get that? information how did you get that knowledge when you don't have any of the work to show for it and it doesn't make any sense which is funny because that's kind of like like in american horror story they kind of play on that and they talk about how like like they invented the microwave and they gave them microwave technology but it's like that's kind of sort of what i'm seeing here which is like there is something that we wouldn't have had without them but we pretended that we did the three of pentacles reverse does that make sense Okay, the fool. Yeah, the fool. Spontaneity, spontaneous and out of nowhere. But all, the fool is also naive and has no idea what they're doing and stumbles into it. It's like discovering something or discovering something old that was left over. 
Oh. Nine of cups reverse and ten of wands, burden release. I, I just saw in my head like a, an old scripture, and I'm wondering if this also ties into the Anunnaki theory. If you want me to ever do a reading on that too, put it down below and I'll do it. Because to me, this is this is about uncovering some sort of old scripture or old piece of information. Nine of Cups reversed and Ten of Wands. I didn't get what I wanted. Releasing of a burden, which means I had to tell my story. So it's some sort of failed civilization. That's what that is. Telling the story of a failed civilization. Oh, left, what's left over a failed civilization. Hmm, devil. Seven of swords reversed and hangman reversed the devil here is about that's damnation i'm hearing damnation so it's like saying something's blasphemous when it wasn't hang man reverse and seven of swords this reminds me of like you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like if you could hit um if you could hit, okay, how do I word this? It's like if you were to able to get, okay, let's say I sell, let's say I sell you, um, okay, well, let me give you a great example. Let's say I sell cars, right? And so you need a car, right? So you buy your car, but I found a button that generates a free car for you, but I refuse to give you this button and I, the technology that is used for the button, I damn it from everyone. And if you do that, you're a bad person and all this other stuff because it's the way to, to get, to remake that button to get you a free car. That's what this reminds me of. That's what it reminds me of. Like it reminds me of... this is the solution and I'm not giving it to you because I don't want to. So what I'm basically saying is this, whatever this reptilian quote unquote energy that I'm picking up on, it's an alien energy. I don't even know if it's the reptilian energy or if it's something else, whatever this is, this would be like if I had an antidote and you refuse to show people that I already gave you the antidote because you could make money off of it. That's like literally what this is. This is like, I'm going to ruin this because this would fuck up our society, but it's a good thing. It's like if I had the antidote to all of your problems and it was given from the aliens years and years ago and it's really easy and it's something really simple that everyone could do, but I'm preventing you from having it because it would destroy civilization and we would no longer be able to function the way we function and I wouldn't be able to make money from it. Like the ultimate gatekeep. This is literally the ultimate gatekeep. And I wouldn't be surprised if the devil card, the damnation, is the modern day conspiracy theory that we have for reptilians. What better way to hide the truth than to push the narrative of a conspiracy theory that sounds ridiculous, celebrities and all this other stuff being half human, half man, whatever, and all this stuff that's like super out over the top. What better way than to let that go amok when the truth is really different? That's kind of the vibe that I'm seeing. I'm not saying that's exactly what's going on, but I'm saying that's kind of the vibe of this energy where it's like, oh, this is great that this is a theory that everyone thinks because the reality of the fact is much different. And the reality of the situation is much more uh, sort of, you know, real, real, real based or, or sort of, um, what's the word, uh, plausible. Um, so to me, I don't know. I don't particularly believe this exact um, conspiracy theory and the way that it is uh, presented. Um, to me, that seems a little bit uh, sort of, again, the devil card and the ace of swords, 
I, if I want to instill fighting, if I want to instill chaos, and if I want to make things ridiculous, this is what I do. King of Wands reversed and nine, the Three of Cups, uh, excuse me, the um, Five of Cups reversed. To me, that's like, I can make you fight for, for the wrong thing. I can give you the wrong target. That's what that is. I'm going to give you the wrong target. Ace of Swords, swing your sword at the wrong target. So to me, it's like, I don't know. I, 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 to me, this doesn't read as like I want to destroy the planet and take over the world. I think that's the part that's the misinformation or the manipulation of the narrative or the sort of damnation of the truth or sort of like the manipulation or the um, weaponization of information or whatever you know you want to call it. Um, I think the real truth here is that there is something alien-like, and whether or not it's reptilian, I don't know, that had given us access or we discovered access to something that could help us that is being gay-kept. That's basically the summarization of this. And everything else is just chaos and fluff and negativity and toxicity and you know manipulation. The core of this is there's some piece of information that we were given or we discovered that could help us and it's being gay kept. So I don't believe that celebrities are shape-shifting. Um, and I don't believe they're trying to destroy us or kill us. Um, I think that that's just a game of telephone. Um, whether or not someone manipulated the information and purposely created the game of telephone or it happened accidentally, I don't know, not my business, but I can tell you is that I actually think there's some form of information that is being gay kept from us. We're not, just, not just information technology or something like that, that, uh, could have helped us. It could just be about connecting to your higher self. Like they could have just been like, if you meditate properly and do this right thing, you connect to your higher self. Who knows? Like it could be something so simple. It could also be something simple like if you smoke weed, you connect to other beings. Like it could, so it could be something very simple. It wouldn't shock me if it was like, you know, weed. Because, you know, we have a whole war on, on drugs and stuff and the, the whole people going against, you know, sort of weed and stuff and and uh, marijuana. And, you know, I every time I've smoked, which is like, three times, twice, actually, you know, I've saw spirits and, and talked to gods and shit. So it's possible that it's something like that, you know, and it's possible that they were just like, this is what connects you to the, I don't know. It's, it's anything is possible really. Um, so I don't know if this was that interesting Three of swords, three of cups, page of pentacles to me, that's like, um, Again, that to me, there's there's some form of, of like money and power and capitalism crap that got mixed in the middle of this uh, and sort of made it dark. This made this conspiracy dark and like twisted. And it's not really where I think it its roots um, should have been or were. So maybe this is an interesting take and a different take. Maybe you guys were expecting something else, but... Uh, yeah, to me, this is just problematic energy. It's like, how can I take something that was innocent and make it problematic? That's kind of what I'm seeing. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe take it or leave it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, you do. And it's a conspiracy theory and it's something different. So remember, if you like these, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal and below. It's one of the heart says thanks to you directly. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and for daddy. Until next time, good luck.